guys, this is just a reminder to make sure to go follow me over on Instagram. It is Jeffrey underscore James underscore reviews. Follow me over there to see updates and talk pro wrestling. What's going on, boys? Today we are back with another review. And today we are going to be reviewing Elite Series 110. Uh, I hate this name, but Butch, Pete Dunn. I will be calling him Pete Dunn throughout this video because I hate this name. Uh, same kind of deal with Walter when they changed it to Gunther. Don't like it. Same thing when they changed Piper Nevin to Dewdrop. I just thought it was dumb. I think the name changes are just dumb. This is Pete Dunn. I'm going to call him Pete Dunn throughout this video. So anyway, we are reviewing the Elite Series 110, Pete Dunn. Super excited to crack into this. I love Pete Dunn. Um, one of my favorite talents. I had both of his previous Elite figures. But I think I have sold them or traded them uh, because I looked for them and I don't have them. So I, I must have sold them or traded them in the past. The one that I had in the black and gold gear, I can't remember what Elite Series it had. But the back of the neck was all black too. It was like they forgot to paint the back of the neck like skin color. Um, and then I got the like first Pete Dunn Elite with like the shorter hair. Tried to do a head swap, and I think that like broke, snapped the peg in that other one. So I had a mishmash uh, <laughs> Pete Dunn figure for a long time, and I was just never really happy with it. So I'm hoping this one changes my mind, and this is a good figure. So we're gonna see. We got the packaging here. Pete Dunn there, figure there, top view and window. Uh, stupid name on the side <laughs> we got pete dunn here he does have a chase figure in the green i would like to pick that up maybe pick it up at retail or something um but i do like this kind of paps blue ribbon kind of gear here it looks pretty sick we got the rest of the figures in the set <laughs> rhea ripley's really the only one i'm looking to pick up um maybe the austin theory i really don't like austin theory but i need that united states title and yeah i might i might get it uh and then we got a picture of Pete Dunn there, Elite Collection. So let's go ahead and crack Mr. Pete Dunn out of his packaging and see what he's got. <laughs> All right, so here we got Pete Dunn out of his packaging. Looking pretty good, just took him straight out of the packaging. You do get a lot of, um, well, not really a lot of accessories, but some cool accessories here. You got a cricket bat that also breaks, so you can break it, there you go, break it over the head or whatever break it over the back whatever you want and it just kind of pieces together but pretty cool accessory here we got a weapon and it breaks in half which is cool um probably going to be a pain if you're trying to hold it or do anything with it because it's probably gonna i mean it, it stays pretty well so pretty cool there it fits really well in the hand he did have it in his hand in the packaging you also get a fist hand and an open weapon holding hand or whatever and he does come with this pretty cool i guess this is a cricket jersey um football jersey cricket jersey i don't know but it does say fight night there i think that says brawling brutes or something right there i'm not really sure you can't even really tell even what that says um and then he's got the b up there it's got a collar on it as you can tell, kind of tell there, but it's got a collar on it. Looks pretty good. We're going to go ahead and remove that, though. Pretty good cloth accessory, but also kind of a weird cloth accessory. I mean, it's okay, I guess, but. And here we got Pete Dunn in this pretty sick red, white, and blue gear. Like I said, kind of looks like a Paps Blue Ribbon type gear. The Brawling Brutes there on the side. Which I am kind of bummed it says Brawling Brutes because, you know, that's not really what he's in anymore it's kind of an outdated figure and it's kind of like a time period figure which i don't really like those because if you're trying to use him for something else you really can't i mean he's kind of stuck to that time period um really do like this head sculpt though and i like the hair sculpt pete dunn's hair has gotten a lot longer um and he always kind of keeps it to one side so that doesn't bother me too much but then we have um the side shave there with a nice looking head sculpt, man. I mean, it looks looks pretty good. I can't lie. I like this head sculpt. And uh, the singlet here, like I said, that Paps Blue Ribbon kind of style looks really cool. Going down into the legs. I was really worried about these pinless knees. I, You know how I feel about these pinless knees. But these actually don't feel too bad. They feel okay. They're not too stiff. Um, I'm hoping that they kind of fix that problem with the pinless knees um like we had with the Car carmelo hayes a few other figures like when they first switched to those pinless knees I, they were just not good but this seems okay 
Uh, he does have his bear tattoo on his knee, which is crazy to have. Like, I don't know if he has more tattoos, like, below his legs, but crazy to have, like, <laughs> your one tattoo on your knee. It's a bold choice. Like, that that, that spot probably sucks. I do not have one on my knee. And, uh, yeah, I'm assuming that probably sucks. Um, we do have the red, white, and blue boots the kick pads looks really solid i like this figure man i think it feels pretty solid in the hand here we go professional youtuber out of focus camera falling um yeah i mean it looks pretty good it feels good in the hand the knees aren't too bad i thought they were going to be super stiff but they're not uh the arms feel really well ab crunch is a little little hindered not great honestly but um, yeah, all in all, man, I'm excited to have a new Pete Dunn in the collection. And this one is pretty solid. Got the double jointed arms and all that good stuff. And um, yeah, it doesn't have, like a, a, like I was saying on the other one, the singlet like, came a little bit lower in his other figures. And then uh, the back of the neck was black. I wish I still had that figure, but they did not paint the back of the neck at all. Like, uh, yeah, super weird, but... Anyway, this figure is pretty solid. I like it. Like I said, huge Pete Dunn fan, and I like that we finally have a new Pete Dunn, updated Pete Dunn. I think it looks really solid. Definitely going to try to grab the Chase one in the green eventually, but this one will do for now. So that is going to do it for this review. Just a quick little review. This is the only figure I got out of the Elite 110 because this was the one I was most excited about, so I ordered this one. And, uh, yeah, looks like a pretty solid figure. I would give it two thumbs up if you ask me. And uh, I think that's going to do it, guys. So thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And we'll see you guys in the next one.